What is up everyone, CircleFlex here bringing you guys another video today. Uh, day 19 of the Advent Calendar of 2019. And it is actually a pretty rare tank. For once. <laughs> it is the Type 62. Now, it will set you back about 39 bucks if you're going to go with the good old bundle. 5,000 gold, 30 days of premium, improved ventilation, first snaps, and a gun rammer. Uh, this is an odd choice. Why would you not go optics? And a moon, few moon viewing style. Wow. I think I've seen this one before. All right. Whatever. And then, of course, the 40 missions. Of course, it has a regular 100% crew as well. And they are selling it separately from the in-game store for 4,800 gold, which will set you back roughly 18 bucks, depending on where you're living. And yeah, the Type 62. Now, everybody always talks about the Type 59 because it has like such a legendary story, basically. But the Type 62, the light tank at tier 7. And it never got nerfed. And a, back in the day, when this thing first came out, scout tanks only went up to tier 8. So this kind of has the stats of an old tier 7, in a way. But it was a bad tier 7 back in the day compared to most tier 7s, because that was like the tier before the final scout tanks at tier 8, right? Before they went to tier 10. So what's interesting in the, uh, about it is that you can kind of see that it's... It comes from that era <laughs> because it has really good uh, uh, like heat pen here, 220 and 145 AP pen is decent for a tier seven scout, I suppose. But 220 heat pen is actually insane on a tier seven, right? Um, <clears throat> so that's where you can kind of see it. And it's a 180 alpha gun. It's an 85 mil, 2.21 uh, aim time, 35 dispersion. Shell velocity is pretty damn slow at less than 800 and the heat is the same. Uh, the only thing that's nice about that is that once you're switching shells, you don't have to account for different shell velocities, which is kind of nice. Then it has 60 top speed, 23 reverse, which is fine. The power to weight is not super high compared to some of the other tier 7s at this point in time. And the tank diverse is really good at 56. It has no armor, the turrets and stuff. Like the model is kind of is decent, right? But you might have some bounce on the turret at some point, but like never rely on it. And it has 880 health and it has a free 90 fuel range, which is really, really, really nice. It has 12% fire chance, but as far as I remember, you can be set on fire frontally, like most of the Chinese uh, tanks. And then the crew is commander, gunner, driver, and the loader is, uh, is also the radio man. And then you have your 5 degrees of gun depression all the way through, except for the back, where it only becomes 1. So keep that in mind. And 5 degrees of gun depression is not a lot. Like, that is like... That is the, the, the standard, right? Anything lower, you have really bad gun depression. Anything higher, your gun depression starts to be really damn good, right? So, super average at 5. How are you going to equip this bad boy? Well, you're definitely going to slap on optics, because you're going to make full use of the 390 view range, in my opinion. Because the more view range you have, the more camo you start to negate, which is nice for your scouting runs and whatnot. And then your DPM goes up to a respectable 2429 with two, uh, basically two second aim time and 0 0.30 feet dispersion, which is really nice. Again, the shell velocity is very low, so it's kind of annoying in that regard. You don't have to run food because of the base 390 fuel range is nice. Uh, so you might want to go with an automatic fire extinguisher just because, you know, even though the fire chance goes down if you have, uh, what is it, like preventive maintenance, I don't think any of you have that. So uh, <laughs> that's just going to be 12. I should just turn that off like no 11, whoop de doo so keep that in mind. Um, like I said, if you compare this to the other tier 7s, as you can see, the firepower, the DPM is uh, higher than most of the other ones. And um, the gun handling is pretty decent as well. So it kind of has the old school gun. But in terms of maneuverability, and as far as I can tell, it loses out against most of the regular tier 7s these days. Armor-wise, they all have nothing, basically. And this is also very nice. It has basically old school view range, 390. It's really nice base. The things are fighting like an LTG 360. Decent one, is 390. The W set, which is the tech tree version, only has 370. It's 20 meters less base. That is huge. That's actually huge. So would I pick it up? If you're a fan of scout tanks and you already have a crew for it, 100% I would pick it up. Because if you're like me and you like uh, tier seven matchmaking, which I do, I think it's a really neat matchmaking, especially for scouts, because it's kind of in that segue of not everybody has 6,000 view range, so you can actually play a scout tank role. And yeah, I think it's cool. It does obviously compete now with more wheels and all that, but I mean, for 18 bucks, 
I would get it. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I will say though that the the, w, the um, Chinese Scout, uh, especially the tier nine, I don't think is really good at all. And the tier ten is probably none of the better ones. So tech tree wise, if you're looking to grind the crew to get to the tech tree, maybe not worth it. But for the sheer fun of playing this at tier seven, I think it is worth it. And uh, like I always say, I don't buy tier seven or lower tanks for making credits. Just get a tier eight if you want to do that. Don't get this for credits. Get this for the sheer joy of playing it in the crew XP, right? That's my take on it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Type 62. Also, I think this is one of the few, few, if not the first time since like four years where you can buy the Type 62 without anything added to it. Because they usually bundle this in like 60 plus euro bundles. I just remembered that. Anyway, take care, guys.